five. I have five cars. I have five cars. Five. I have five cars. Step. The baby takes a step. The baby takes a step. Step. The baby takes a step. Morning. I get up early in the morning. I get up early in the morning. Morning. I get up early in the morning. Past. We passed the bridge. We passed the bridge. Past. We passed the bridge. Hundred. I have one hundred dollars. I have one hundred dollars. Hundred. I have one hundred dollars. Five. I have five cars. I have five cars. I have five cars. I have five cars. Step. The baby takes a 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 step. Morning. I get up early in the morning. I get up early in the morning. I get up early in the morning. I get up. Early in the morning. Past. We passed the bridge. We passed the bridge. We passed the bridge. We passed the bridge. Hundred. I have one hundred dollars. 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 Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Brian, and welcome to WorldCom Edu Sight Words Level Four. We are going to learn some easy words today. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's words are five, step, morning, past, hundred. Our first word is five. Five is a number. It is more than four and less than six. Okay. For example, I have five cars, or there are five fingers on my hand. Okay. Next, we have step. When we walk, we take one step after. Another. 
To step is to move one foot in a certain direction. For example, the baby takes a step, or he took a step toward the cliff. Be careful. Okay. Next, we have morning. We use morning to talk about the part of day between midnight and noon. Usually, we wake up in the morning after the sun rises. For example, I get up early in the morning, or the sun rises in the morning. Next, we have past. After you have moved by something, you have passed it. For example, we passed the bridge, or the school bus passed by the school. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Finally, we have hundred. One hundred is a very big number. It comes after the number ninety-nine. For example, I have one hundred dollars, or two hundred students are at my school. Okay, those are our words for today. Now it's time for practice and repeat. So let's practice. Repeat after me. Five. I have five cars. Good. Next. Step. The baby takes a step. All right. Good. Next. Morning. I get up early in the morning. All right, good. Passed. We passed the bridge. All right. Last one. Hundred. I have one hundred dollars. All right, very good. Now let's do the review. Let's read some sentences. But wait, words are missing. Can we think of the missing words? For example, I get up early in the beep. Hmm. What word can we use? Well, here are our study words: five, step, morning, past. Hundred. So, which one can we use? Yes, we can use morning. I get up early in the morning. Good. Next, I have one beep dollars. Aha!、Hmm. Uh -huh. I have one hundred dollars. All right. Next, the baby takes a beep. Hmm. Ah, the baby takes a step. All right. Next one. We beep the bridge. Ah, we passed the bridge. Last one. I have beep cars. Hmm. Ah, I have five cars. All right. Good job. Sight word story. Now it's time to read the sight word story. So let's read the sight words story together. Are you ready? Let's go. I rode the bus to school this morning. I met five of my friends on the bus. We passed many houses and stores. We get to school. And step down from the bus. There are nine hundred students at my school. Okay, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thank you for studying with me. See you next time. Bye bye.
How many cars do you have? I have five cars. Who takes a step? The baby takes a step. When do you get up? I get up early in the morning. What did you pass? We passed the bridge. How much money do you have? I have one hundred dollars. Sight word story. Now it's time to read the sight word story. So let's read the sight words story together. Are you ready? Let's go. I rode the bus to school this morning. I met five of my friends on the bus. We passed many houses and stores. We get to school and step down from the bus. There are nine hundred students at my school. Okay, that's our story for today. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thank you for studying with me. See you next time. Bye bye.